some uh, part of the revenue. By the way, there are some other areas in Bugangaizi and the Wayaga which the Lands Commission acquired, but there has never been systematic demarcation. And uh, this would also solve most of these issues. So we would also request that you direct uh, you, uh, uh, the Lands Commission to prioritize uh, those areas which were acquired some time back, and then they just cannot stop the vacations and they enable these plant owners to really own that land. I don't want I'm, I'm holding a master's degree in oil and gas management, and I visited from UK, Primath University, and I visited uh, Niger Delta. Niger Delta is not a, is not a region now. It's just a something you can even watch. If you watch it, you can't even wish to have a pipeline or any oil in your region. So we have to think about that before anything else. Give us your proposals, please give us the proposal here. is let let, let the Banyoro be involved. Let the people of Bunyoro be involved, direct involvement of the people of Bunyoro. Okay, to what is going on in, in, in their region. There will be nothing else left for Banyoros apart from maybe factories. So our prayer is let us have a fund whereby we think about the future of Banyoro. That they are not being compensated. I don't know whether whether you can do something about that. Then he's saying that they really want to get clarification about who exactly is being compensated. There's still that issue of the Banja order vis a vis the, the owner. I know they addressed it, but I think they're not yet satisfied about who and their rights and also the issue of the wetland. That's the solution. Right? The solution I was sharing with the PS, let Ministry of Pipeline give us Ministry of Lands the map of the pipeline. Are they thought there must be some, uh, some other meters, uh, a reserve on either side? We make an overlay on the cadaster map of those Milo interests and Bibanja interests all the way to where the pipeline enters Zimbabwe. And uh, we also get direction by way of a resolution of parliament or a directive of the minister that Uganda Land Commission and the Ministry move now to this project area and expeditiously use the land fund to compensate the historical land owner where it has not 